Good day, everyone. This is Sifu Cicero from the Online School of Chi Energy Heals. And today we're going to do part three in energy form training. I have with me Sifu Jones. And Sifu Jones, how are you doing today? I'm doing great. Yeah, I'm going over part three of form training, and we're trying to get an understanding out to people what we really are doing at our school and how our school is a little bit different than the other type of energy modalities out there that will maybe teach you something like moving chi, but they don't really go to the point where you can learn to hold your chi in place like we teach students to do in our school. And the difference really allows you to do a lot of different type of techniques, comparatively speaking, with just moving chi. And some of the things that we will go over with are some of the questions that we've been asked lately from different uh, people out there that some of them in the school and some of them not in the school. And I thought, well, we'll go ahead and take a few of them and answer some of their questions for them. Well, one of the questions is that has to do with what you just talked about. And they say, it sounds a bit magical that you can build an energy form out of thin air. What makes up this energy form? Well, it's electrical magnetic energy when it's all said and done. You know, we're calling it biophotons, or it's a type of form of light, but even light is a type of electrical magnetic type of energy. Just like I'm sure people way back when, when they first found out what magnets would do, that they had this special magic, if you want to call it. I'm sure they thought it was real magic before when you would have a magnet that would pull still towards it and, and it was stronger than what gravitational forces are. And so it does seem somewhat magical because electrical magnetic energy is stronger than the gravitational forces around us. And that's basically what we build with students is they can start using this electrical magnetic energy in specific ways for manipulation purposes. Well, Sifu Jones, there's a lot of energy people that have brought us questions, and I picked out this one in particular. And they're asking, is this energy form similar to an aura of different colors around my body? Does the power come from the different frequencies of colors in the energy form? Well, what they'll find out, actually, is colors actually come from a combination of temperatures and usually chemical reactions with uh, different elements, different element calls that, like the Ouroboros, to come out over the surface of the Earth. And, and you get up way up north, and you can see how that, all these different colors show up uh, right out into the sky. And you think, wow, you know, all these colors are really cool. And, and they're actually these chemical reactions that are taking place that cause that phenomena to happen. And we know that with our bodies, the way we see color is actually from a brain point in the head that allows us to, to see a particular color to be so that everybody sees red as red, except for those people that maybe have a little defect in there, and they would see it maybe as a colored blindness, and then they wouldn't pick up red in the same way. People like that, sometimes you'll be able to affect them in different ways with energy work. But since most people really get color out of their a particular brain point, we don't use collars because we're trying to teach people how to stay out of their head so that they can actually get this down to a, a manageable level where they can actually use it in practical application type way. And we know that as you stay in the head or you deal with the head, it's already, most people would say, well, you know, the normal temperature for your head is 98.6. And a doctor will take a temperature and if he sees 98.6 on there, he's thinking it's pretty normal or anywhere close to that is pretty normal. Whereas we teach uh, students that you really have to learn to cool that part of your body down with the rest of your body in order to build up large amounts of energy because G has a tendency to be hot electricity. The stuff biophoton acts like is just like the electricity in your wall and that is hot, destructive, and so would be biophotons if we didn't have this mental edge over it that actually take control of those biophotons. And that's really what we've learned in science and through quantum physics, how this stuff really really work uh, at such a higher level than what we could even 20 years ago. Now, this leads to a very different type of question that pulls it right to the top. Does this energy form replace my physical body, or is it part of it? Well, no, it actually does somewhat replace your physical body, because eventually, as you clean out your cells, and that's really what the nerve fiber building exercise, one of the first energy exercises that a student learns, is the nerve fiber building exercise, and it's this process of cleaning out your body from toxins and stuff like that because you're moving the energy around in a very physical and tangible way. Now, we get to 
the student to turn into it in a variety of ways of how to tune into energy. You start out with a chi palm test, like that palm test where you can first start seeing a little bit of energy or this little bit of a magnetic power sensation coming from one hand to the other as you bounce energy back and forth. And it, some, to some people, it'll feel like just even moving air. It may not even have a magnetic quality to it yet, but just have this either this hot sensation to it or this cool sensation to it. And you can usually feel that it's either cooler than the air around you or it's hotter than the air around you. And that's how you would pick up on the sensation there to know that that was biophotons that you were actually bouncing back and forth. And so you are actually using energy in this physical way where you'll be able to project it and actually use it for manipulation purposes. And we show students all sorts of cool ways that they can use their energy that helps them build up their nerve fiber system all the way around their body. They want to know how does it physically feel to build and use an energy form? And this person understood about Reiki and they said, is it just a mental projection, the energy form, like visualizing a Reiki symbol? Well, it's nothing like visualizing a Reiki symbol because you know, you're looking at a particular thing and if you're not a visualizer, you're not going to get a whole lot out of that. And even if you do visualize a particular Reiki symbol, it will cause different sensations in your body, but a whole lot more than that. For the most part, I never really got a whole lot from looking at those particular symbols. I did find a whole bunch of better symbols that we actually use in our school as training devices and as hypnotic devices to help a student get better focus and better control and be able to manipulate the time-space fabric around them better. So much different than what you'd find in going through a recce system or using visualization or mental projections in the first part. You do use your energy to make forms. Just like a recce symbol is an actual form, they'd just be more, much more complicated form. We have a lot easier type of forms to make. You work with a form for a little while and then you do make it a little bit more complicated as you go along and better at filling this. But for the most part, some people will feel like it's a tingling sensation maybe going through them. A lot of people just feel like it's like moving air going through them. And depending on how well you can project your chi, because as you go through a school like ours, you'd actually be able to project it strong enough to contract out a person's muscle. And so as they would see the, if you're doing it through their arm and they saw their muscles popping up and down, they would understand, well, there's something going through there, isn't there? Well, exactly. And they do their nerve fiber building, it does feel like an actual physical form. There's no doubt about the fact that it moves in guide through the body very differently than a Reiki symbol would be used. You know, it's always funny because a lot of students, when they first get into starting to tune into this, they will suddenly become very aware that if they don't pick up their feet and rub it against a rug and they'll touch a door, they'll suddenly get shocked a lot more than they've ever been shocked before. And we are tuning them into feeling like electricity or this, how these biophotons work, and it works just like electricity. So as their nerve fiber system gets bigger and bigger, a phenomenon like that does have a tendency to happen. And of course, you do is pick up your feet and you won't get shocked so much and that takes away that problem. Exactly. And they're wanting to know how is this energy form different than the bubble of loving light that I visualize around my body? Is it similar to faith healing? Well, I think faith healing even kind of would use almost like that bubble effect too. And a lot of people do use a bubble type effect. Our symbols aren't in that type of a way. They're much more practical application. Like we would start out with something that helps you tune into electricity so much better than this big bubble. It's much smaller. And since you're working with a much smaller form, it's so much easier to use and you can get so much more out of it. A lot of times, the bubble, it takes a somewhat of a visualization from the person involved to be able to bubble around their whole body in like a 360 way. And it's easy enough once you do our system for a while, you'll be able to use that bubble effect. But we have much better forms than the bubble or a lot of times we get very similar results to what you'd get in faith healing. And a lot of times faith healing works so well because there's so many people involved with all that electrical magnetic energy being in use. No wonder saying, you know, people are healed 
killed or that kind of thing would happen. Whereas, you know, it's just you by yourself or maybe you and another person doing our particular method, comparatively speaking to a church where there may be, you know, 10,000 people watching that same event and look at the power, the source there, comparatively speaking, that you'd put off with just two people, our form, and working with it on a repetitive basis that gets you really good at doing this. People are interested in healing, and the next question is about, can I use the healing form to heal in person and long distance? And are there different levels of healing technique? Yeah, there really are different levels of technique. Uh, people in the first year would learn it in one particular way, and the student in the next year would learn it in another different way. And, and by the third year, because they're so much better in their ability to project energy, you actually would learn it a little bit different way. And it's not that they're that different of a way as it is just adding in more stuff to what you're initially doing in a healing type of situation, whether it be in person or long distance. Now, we certainly will teach them in person to do it that way first because it takes a while before your ability to visualize comes out in this particular way or a particular manner, especially if you don't know how to visualize well. Then it takes a number of years before you actually will get that type of ability out of yourself. Most people will say that, wow, I can really feel it well, but I don't see it. And let's use the pretty regular and a lot of normal people would be that way. Whereas there are other people out there that they're very sensitive and they visualize well and, and they may visualize the energy before they can actually feel it that well. It's just the uniqueness of one person compared to another. But all along the way, as you put your mind in the same repetitive way, things change and this stuff really becomes a, a practical application thing where you can actually physically feel it. That's really the difference where you can actually get things like long distance distance healing out of you. And we explain scientifically also why that you can't do things like a long distance healing. And that's the way that they found out that this type of energy actually does work. We have a lot of healing questions here, and I'm going to combine uh, questions seven and eight because it's basically about the same thing. They want to know about our quantum type of healing that we teach versus Reiki or Qigong. One of the biggest differences is that we use a cool temperature and a good feeling. We use our tri-concept is what we say. It's a form that feels good and is on the cool side an awful lot of different places out there. They don't take into count the temperature, and so the hotter the better in their mind. I know there's an awful lot of people that think that way. I certainly thought that way for the longest time until I did all the research involved of how hot energy affects the human body, and it doesn't affect it well. It actually causes with all sorts of problems for you if you're constantly heating up your energy. And that's what we teach people in school is not to heat up your energy, but to cool it down so that you can put more and more energy into play and it won't be on the hot, destructive side. And an awful lot of the people you just said as far as reke or qigong or call those type of breathing martial art type styles of meditations or where you do energy work like this, they don't bring up about things like that, things of how it would affect your pheromones, the heat. If you put out too much heat in your body, how it adversely affects it so that it actually causes you to get in fights and arguments with people simply because you're burning your pheromones and it shuts that's down your natural killer cells or your ability to fight off of something like a virus. Natural killer cells are the only thing in our body that is capable of actually getting rid of a virus. You go to a doctor and they give you an antibiotic, but that really is for bacteria. It's not get rid of a virus out of your system because it doesn't have that capability. Your own body has that capability, and when you do certain energy modalities out there, you're actually shutting down that part of you, which we show people in the school why that and how that happens. And that's what I enjoy about using my energy form for healing because you taught us how to specifically put it in certain areas to help the release of natural killer cells. It's very precise in how we use our energy form, but yet it's guided very easily. Yeah, there is so much more medical research that was done on how energy affects the body that really is available out there to people. And for the most part, these other energy modalities haven't adapted to them or put them into their routines, whereas we put them and adapted them right into to our school routine so that we can benefit from all this extra knowledge. Well, we have somebody that comes right out and asks, how long does it take to build an energy forum? Well, that is the million-dollar question because it's different for everybody. If you visualize well, well, you'll be able to build an energy form really quick. And if you don't visualize, well, it takes you a little bit longer. But most people within the first 30 days of training start getting a pretty good knowledge of what she is about, what it feels like, and how it can help them.
And our last question is, how can this energy form be used for other purposes besides healing, such as changing my mental state of mind or, or in my business? That's what we do is we show you how to use this form to not only change the uh, temperature in your body so that it's more in the way or the range you want it to be. We can teach you how to raise or lower your blood pressure, uh, your heart rate, or those of somebody else around you, and also change the temperature in the air around you, outside your body as well as inside your body. And so also in changing the state of mind, we show you how you tap in into your own second brain area where most most people don't understand what that's about or anything. You know, with the latest research out there, I mean, we found out that you put a particular form through particular areas in your body and suddenly you can change the hormonal way that it affects your body and worth learning because who doesn't want to feel good on demand? That's usually after a few years of training, you really can decide, you know, how to feel good when you want to feel good. And that's something that's really unique that we teach to be able to do on yourself, but for you to be able to do that for other people. It's an incredible way to feel great every day because when I do my training, I actually put that attribute into the electrical form. And when I go to use it on myself or in a quantum healing, it has the exact same effect. It really does. And a lot of people have brought up also at different times about the book, The Secret, or the movie, The Secret. And the big thing that they left out is how your pheromones really affect a person, either you or yourself, the way you put out your pheromones or whether a, another person puts out their pheromones. And we teach a student that comes into our school exactly how you can put your pheromones out in the best way and use it in the law of attraction type of way. And, and we find that using it in that particular way so that you can get along with everybody, even people that you don't normally get along with, you can get along with. That it really works well for the student. It absolutely does. There is a high level of cooperation, which is not only needed on a daily basis with people you interact with, but on a healing basis. That's the whole reason why we call it the school of chi energy, because we are going to give them healing ways to use this energy. We're going to give them all sorts of different ways that will benefit their life to use this energy in a particular form like we are. When you can actually make a form come out of your projection of chi and utilize it in particular areas of the body, you can actually change the way you feel on a hormonal basis and you really can do that not only on yourself but on other people and learning those particular type of techniques are what helps separate us from other type of energy modalities also. It's very true. That is the professional level. Yeah, I think so. And most people probably, unless they saw that actually in action, believe that that wouldn't be something that you can actually do. And I would suggest they take us up on it. Check out our school. Take a look at what we really have to offer. Check our catalog, our curriculum that we have. And they'll see that we can teach them all sorts of cool techniques using these type of ways that we build up the body. It really builds it up in such a better way than what you'll find out there in other systems. So that's all I basically wanted to go over today. And thanks. Thanks, everybody.